this video I'm going to show you how to fix an iPod that will not detect to your computer and will not detect to iTunes. Now, as you can see, it's connected. It's on. However, if I open up iTunes here, now I'm going to show you how to fix this. Now the problem here is simple. I'm going to shut the iPod off. Now, as you can see, it's connected because I can go to my computer. Go to device manager and if you scroll down see Apple Mobile device USB driver. So it's detecting it. The USB detects that the iPod's connected. However, with the computer itself there's no drive. It does not even detect that it's there. Only the USB detects it. So I'm going to shut this off. Now if I turn it back on this is the problem right here. The battery is very low. The battery needs to charge and be much higher than that in order for the computer and iTunes to detect it. So you have to let this charge. To charge it faster, the best thing to do is to plug it into an outlet because it charges faster than through the USB, which is connected right here. So the best thing to do is disconnect it, plug it in, let it charge much more than it is now. It's almost on empty. And then we plug it back in and then your iPod should detect. Okay, so I charged up the iPod. As you can see, it's about halfway full. And after I charge it, I now connected it to my netbook. And as you can see, it detects it. Once it's charged, it should detect. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Please like up the video and thank you for tuning in.